Welcome back to Mental Math. Here's a question that sounds straightforward, but has a surprising answer. Which is bigger, 10 to the 100th power or 100 factorial? One is a one with 100 zeros after it. The other is what you get when you multiply every integer from one all the way up to 100. Let's figure this out. Now, we obviously can't just calculate these numbers directly. They're both absolutely enormous, so we need to be clever about this. The key insight is this. Instead of comparing the numbers directly, we can compare their logarithms. If the logarithm of A is bigger than the logarithm of B, then A itself must be bigger than B. We'll work with base 10 logarithms here. Let's tackle the easier one first. We need the base 10 logarithm of 10 to the 100th power. There's a handy property of logarithms here. When you have a logarithm of something raised to a power, you can pull that exponent out front as a multiplier. It's called the power rule. So that 100 comes down to the front, which gives us 100 times the logarithm of 10. And here's the nice part. The base 10 logarithm of 10 is exactly 1. That's basically the definition of logarithm. So we get 100 times 1, which is just 100. So that's our benchmark. Now the real question is, can 100 factorial beat that? All right, now for the interesting part. 100 factorial. We need the logarithm of 100 factorial. Let's expand what this factorial actually means. It's 1 times 2 times 3, all the way up to 100. Now, here's another key property of logarithms. The log of a times b equals the log of a plus the log of b. The logarithm of a product becomes a sum. So this big product breaks down into a sum of logarithms. We can write it in summation notation as the sum of log n where n goes from 1 to 100. The question is, is this sum bigger than 100? We could calculate it term by term, but there's a much more elegant way. Here's the thing. We don't need to know the exact value. We just need to show it's bigger than 100. Let's split this sum into two pieces. Most of the action happens in the terms from 10 to 100. The log of 1 is 0, and logs of 2 through 9 are all positive numbers. If we just ignore these positive terms, we're making our sum smaller. So the original sum is definitely bigger than just the sum from n equals 10 to 100. If we can prove this smaller sum beats 100, we're done. How many terms do we have here? From 10 to 100, that's 91 terms. Since that's an odd number, we can pair them up. Smallest with largest, second smallest with second largest, and so on. That leaves one term in the middle unpaired. Look at the first pair, log of 10 plus log of 100. Using our product rule in reverse, that's the log of 10 times 100, which is the log of 1,000, and that equals 3. Now check out the next pair. 11 and 99. Their product is 1,089. Since 1,089 is bigger than 1,000, its logarithm has to be bigger, too. So this pair gives us more than 3. And here's the beautiful part. Every single pair we form has this same property. They all give us more than 3. So we've got 45 pairs, each one contributing more than 3, plus that middle term, which is log of 55. That means our sum has to be bigger than 45 times 3 plus log of 55. Let's work that out. 45 times 3 is 135. Now, what about that log of 55? Well, 55 is bigger than 10. So its logarithm is bigger than log of 10, which is 1. We can safely say our sum is bigger than 135 plus 1. And there it is. The sum is definitely bigger than 136. All right, let's bring it all together. 
The log of 100 factorial is bigger than 136. The log of 10 to the 100th is exactly 100. So log of 100 factorial is bigger than 136, which is obviously way bigger than 100. The log of 100 factorial absolutely dominates the log of 10 to the 100th. And remember, if the logarithms satisfy this inequality, then so do the numbers themselves. 100 factorial is enormously, almost unimaginably larger than 10 to the 100th. Even though both numbers are huge, factorial growth eventually crushes exponential growth. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this comparison, hit that like button and subscribe for more. See you next time.